Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Sheena again from Luna Rosu, and today I have a an envelope collection with a sort of travel and music theme meshed in together. Initially, it was was gonna be just music theme, but I, I realized I didn't have a lot of um, um, music ephemera, so I decided to put in a little travel, mix it up just a bit, and then this is what I came up with. So, we in this collection, we have, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. So we have um, eleven items in this collection. A few are envelopes um, and a few are sort of like notebooks or folders kind of thing. So let's just start with this little cute one. So this one here is, hold on, let me just try and put this on this side. So this is a small mini envelope. Um, the majority of, most of the piano paper you see here is actually from um, Lor Lorna's um, Etsy shop called TaylorMade Journals. And I know um, Nazi from Amade Bloom is the one that I first saw that started using piano paper so I wanted to incorporate that as well into this music collection um, so this is the small little mini envelope that I made it has a bit of fabric here a little cute button a key um, a key charm some authentic stamps as well and then also I I decided to try out um, gold po poster color usually you use acrylic color right so I decided that I was gonna try with um, poster color and it came out quite okay actually so I thought th that would be a kind of a good alternative so on the inside of this one there's just um, a few mini pieces of um, ephemera um, these are all printed um, you have sort of a map to New York um, a calling card right there and then a movie ticket here and also a ladies night sort of invite there so that's that and then you can journal on the back some I've backed with um, some other uh, book pages and whatnot so that's inside there so hold on right and then we also have this French letter as usual I include most of my collections they always include a an authentic French letter this one I've just added um, a bit of uh, water distressing there like so and then a um, wax seal that did not come out perfect but somehow I feel like it looks quite in a way authentic because it looks you know kind of old and things like that and then on the inside of this one this is really cool because this um, card this French letter is actually I don't know if you can see but um, probably easier to see in person but the outline on the top is actually sort of has that that gold um gold uh, lining on the edges there so that was pretty cool and then we also have this one this is um an ephemera piece that i made it's n not that um hard to do actually it's just um i sort of uh cut out this size of um, hardboard and then I cut out a, a small section in the middle as well this one um, is an authentic uh, what you call it um, vintage photo slide so this one I chose because it's um, a, a theater that it's really really pretty but I don't know if you can sort of see yep so they do a lot of opera a lot of ballet and whatnot so I thought that would go really well with the theme so that's the back of that so I've just um, covered the hardboard with some um, printed vintage paper and printed pattern paper and did a little bit of collaging as well so that's how she looked like and then we also have this little piece here this one you've probably seen um, on my Instagram post so this one also has a bit of um, gold um, paint there and then this one when you open her up she looks like this so this is sort of meant to be a sort of a a pocket kind of folder kind of wallet ish and then inside here you have 
authentic FMR pieces. Um, some tickets here. This is just a really cool one right there. And then you also have some real vintage photographs, like groups of people, a building. And then this is also a um, authentic ticket there. So it's just folded like so. And then more authentic and really old photograph, this one. And this is actually written on the back as well. And this one as well. So I thought that would be kind of cool because you know sometimes um, you have that little dingy pocket wallet where you keep you know just a picture of your loved ones or your you know like your credit cards and things like that and then on the top part of this side so this string you just open her up this one looks like so so you've got a glycine um, uh, envelope right here so that I've glued down and then you've got um, sort of vintage stamps inside there that you can use to decorate and whatnot, and then here is this is sort of um uh sort of like a me memo pad. So you've got a few pieces of um, aged paper in here, vintage ledgers. So I've also um uh, what's that word? Uh, perforated the um about maybe half an inch from the top here, so you can actually tear out the pages like once you've done so it's sort of like a memo pad so so it tears right there so if, if you can see so I thought that was kind of cool because I remember when I was young um, I used to collect all these little stationary kind of sets and they came with you know co pen compartments and card compartments and you know papers that you can tear out and like letterheads and things so I sort of remembered that and I wanted to create this for this collection and then we also have this one this one I am so super happy proud of um, this one I am actually in the midst of uh, filming a tutorial for this one as well it's actually fairly easy to do um, this is a my version of a postcard book so this is a sort of a amateur version I guess um, so this is I've labelled the Trinity College of Music in London and the reason for that is because all the postcards that I found in the public domain is actually off that place so I found four um, actually I found I think about six of these um, of the postcards of the, of the college um, but because my bread um, not breads or the eyelets are not thick enough to hold the amount of you know papers that um, I was supposed to initially put in so yeah so I decided to just include four but then there are other layers as well so I will be doing a tutorial on this so keep a look out of that um, so this uh, marble paper really pretty it's from the graphics fairy and then there's just um, this little gold lining on the side, on this corner there. And then inside, it's just a bag with vintage envelope paper, some ticket washies. And yeah, so it looks like that. And then we also have one of the Tim Holtz um, ephemera and also a real vintage um, photograph as well. And the back here is also um, uh, backed with um, the vintage envelopes that I have. So that is how she looks like. Oh, and also, before I forget, you can like um like all not all but most of the postcard book that I was trying to um, copy to replicate, I've actually also perforated the side here. So you can actually tear it off as well. So it just cuts right here. It just tears here, and then you can journal on the back of that. And then this one is a sort of a mini folder book as well. Then again, I managed to find the invitation concert ephemera from the same college of the postcard book. So I just printed it out right there. And then this one, this one here is tied on like that. So you open her up like so. Again, I've used that gold um, poster color as well. And then on the inside of this one, she looks like that. So you have a 
a sort of a pocket right there that you can put something in here I've also put in an envelope in the middle as well that opens up like so I've left this blank so you can you know journal in there and then the back of the envelope is really pretty because it has this um, little sort of motif emblem there and it's so pretty I just love it and then this is a um, German postcard um, I like the colors and the sort of the lines and whatnot so I thought it went really well with the scheme of this little booklet right there and then inside this pocket as well you have a patterned paper that you can journal or you know use it for something and also a, um, a handwritten vintage recipe card right there so that tucks in there like so and you just have to you know tie it back there and then oh and also on the back of this is this um religious french religious card and the reason i've chosen this one is because it has um uh saint cecile that's playing the organ and angels that are playing the harp so again i try to try to stick to the theme and then that it belongs there and then we also have well, let me just put that there and then this one is another envelope using made using the graphics fairy um, marble paper as you can tell all the other um, items are more i guess mature kind of um uh, pictures and whatnot so i had a few little um little children that are playing you know musical instruments and whatnot so I really have wanted to include that in so I made another envelope specifically for that which is this one here um, this one is actually a front of an envelope that I uh, sewed on the front of this envelope as well so if you don't put anything inside it looks like um, there's a, already a really pretty motif there but on the inside is a, uh, I think this is a German postcard as well of a little boy and girl, the boy is playing an accordion and again, trying to stick with the theme trying to incorporate what I have and then on the back, previously that was um, um, pinned here is this page from a vintage um, encyclopedia which is about um, sound recording machines and whatnot so I thought that was kind of cool and on the inside of this is this little pretty um, for also from a German um, music book um, so you have this little pretty illustrations here I really really wanted to include this in this is sort of a mini booklet and then um, this is just a music quote down there it's it's just um, one, two, three, four. So there's just four pages in here. That's the center fold. So I figured, you know, you could use journal here or use this as a background for photos or notes and things like that. So that was really cute. I really, really wanted to include that in. And also we have this other envelope. Oh, sorry okay everything's going all over the place this envelope here this is also made from tailor-made journals piano paper um, and then I've just put on stamps here this is a sticker and then also I've just you know did a bit of collaging and the back looks like this, this is my favorite um, piano paper from her collection because it has this vintage um, uh, look here that you know pretty much kind of does most of the <laughs> embellishing for you because it already looks really old and on the inside of this one we have um, some love letters um, you have a really pretty birthday um, postcard here I thought that was really nice to have um, and also we have a vintage um, love letter here as well and then this is a real vintage photograph um, I bought sort of an album that came um, with also the wording, um, the description of the photo so I thought I would include that in here as well this is just a really pretty handsome couple right there 
and this is the letter that comes with it and I have also included a vintage greeting card it's really pretty so this is um, congratulations on your engagement um, I try to uh, sort of um, go give a, a slight story to this couple right there and also this is an authentic um, uh, Western Union telegram that just says um, you know congratulations on your um, wedding kind of yes so thought that was really cool to have and that's there and we also have this one I am excited about as well this one I um, I saw on eBay and then I decided to buy it. It's actually a bunch of um, deeds and things like that but it was clipped together like so. So it folds up like, like this, right? And then it's just you know folded down on the side here and the papers are held together with both these breads right here. And I thought that was a pretty cool um, layout, different kind of layout to a journal. And then so I decided to replicate it and then I've just printed some uh, music ephemera here. Um, I think this is from um, I think this is from the old design shop, I think. And then this one is from the graphics fairy. It's either one or the other. And then I've also printed a, um, a music sheet and empty music sheet paper which you can use to journal on. So that's that there. And for this one, I've also printed it on craft paper and sort of dis uh, distressed the edges and the surface of it with um, with a nail file. So I just took it and just, you know, try to scrape off the top like that. If you want to, if you want a tutorial on that, I can also do that. It's just really simple, really, really simple. And then we also have this one um, which is sort of a mini uh, traveler's notebook there's not a lot of pages in here I just it's sort of the idea was to do a kind of like an expense book so you you'll you know do your traveling stuff in here you put your tickets in here and things like that you can also do a bit of journaling as well so I've got a quote up here as well. It just says, each day for me is a musical note that I use to compose the symphony of my life. So this is a really simple notebook. Inside is a printed um, library card and also two authentic ones here, which I have distressed as well. And then we also have a, um, a hotel postcard here. I've just started co collecting sort of... Um, uh, vintage hotel postcards as well um, you can journal on the back of this and it looks like that so it's not embellished at all um, there's plenty of room to do your own decorating I've just included in the center page um, some vintage receipts and then a part of a vintage um, telegraph page right there so that's that there and then on the back here we have um, a printed uh, record of transit um, uh, printed ephemera piece a sort of a journaling card you can go over the back with white gesso or use um, a white uh, white pen or one of those white gel pens to journal on the back and this one here is an authentic ephemera piece this is a discharge of mortgage one of those mortgage papers that I have so there's plenty of room to journal in here and make it your own and then there's also a really pretty you know this really pretty calligraphy on the back as well and that's really really super gorgeous this one is not the state of New York so so pretty I, I really wanted to include that in so the idea once again is sort of your personal you know um, receipts and whatnot to put inside here and then on the back of this one I have also done a fabric pocket and I've included an authentic um, railway company pass as well inside so that is really really cool I really love the fabric on this one actually 
So that is that. And then finally, the last piece. This one has um, a bit of ruffles. Uh, there's not a lot of fabric in this collection. Um, just this one here and I think just the front one here. So this one I was really lucky to have found. Um, this is a um, an envelope for a musical instruments kind of um, a dealer store. So I thought, yay, it went with the theme, woohoo! And then on the back it's just like so. And we have inside we have um, part of a vintage greeting card that you can journal around and on the back and I have also included um, a vintage leisure paper which you can use one is um, one has lots of uh, handwriting on it another one is an empty one that you can use and also a Sears catalog with um, part of the music section in it so this one has uh, more of the tambourines, the harmonica, and uh, yeah, just a, a lot of harmonicas. So that's that there. So yeah, guys. So that is my take on a music-themed um, uh, envelope <laughs> collection. I don't think I've tried this theme before, so I'm I'm really really happy with what I came up with and. Um, I hope you guys enjoy this flip through. It's it's kind of long this one. I'm trying to go go through it fast, but yeah. So I'm really excited. Um, again, filming the tutorial, and I will have it up hopefully by end of this week. Um, and also, um, happy Fourth of July in advance, guys. Um, it's already Fourth of July here, but I think not yet in the states. But so I think when this video goes up, it's Happy Fourth of July. Alright, I'll see you guys in my next video and um, yeah, have a happy, happy, happy holiday guys. See ya, bye!